time. The division's reign of terror ends here and now. Let's get them, boys. Time to put these fuckers down! What is up guys, Woo here, back again with another Division 2 video. Welcome back. Today's build is my explosive turret build with interchangeable skills and fun wrapped up with booms. Guys, plural booms. Yes, plenty in this build. Now, when I think about build videos, when I want to construct builds, for you guys, the community, what I do, I think of the most wackiest, weirdest, wonderful ways to really put a build together that you guys will take away and more importantly, enjoy. Kind of harness your game experience and really just... Just extract so much more fun from the game because we all know at the minute it is a little bit quiet. There's not much happening. We need content. And builds like this definitely, definitely help to put you back on the map and get you focused on just enjoying the game. So if you enjoyed this build, do you enjoyed this video, thumbs doodle. Guys, it really helps. So thumbs doodle, please. And if you're new to the channel, drop the woo bomb on the sub button, ding the bell to be notified when I upload my content. Guys, let's woo this. But before we go into the build, <laughs> before we do that, I'm going to say this. I have an amazing Discord community. We have just reached 1,000 members, which is godly. It really is. We can push that more and more. Let's keep pushing, guys. We have a great PS4, Xbox, and PC clan. Guys, you're welcome to join. We have availability, so make sure you're in the Discord. Ask about the clans, and we'll get you there talking about legendaries. We'll talk about raids. Let's talk about heroics. Let's talk about solo content. Let's talk about the game. Guys, join the Discord. The link is in the description. Take a look at the build. This is the build, guys. This is my explosive boom build, and it is super duper fun. Now, Demolitionist is the only way to go. Don't look at anything else. Just Demolitionist. You want that explosive damage, and also you want your artillery turret. Booms galore. That's where you need to be on this build. No offensive, no defensive, and six utility stats. Awesome. Now... Before we go through the gear, I'm going to talk about the skills first and foremost, because this is dependent on the skills. Now, with this, you can see, guys, I'm using the decoy. Now, I'm not using the decoy, I'm using this as a demonstration. Let's take a look at this. What I like about this build is this is what it offers. Deployable skills, go boom. So that's a 1.75 million damage for any NPCs in that radius, and I've seen that fluctuate to 1.9 million, which is great. So you have an explosive decoy, which is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now, it is highly situational. Of course it is, guys. Of course it is. So using the turret, sorry, using the decoy on this build, you're even going to use it for two reasons. The first reason is fun. It is so much fun dropping the decoy because it does, again, have that threat level. It's the aggro will draw in. So it is having an extra agent on board. So for lesser content, works nicely. 
and of course legendary missions it does serve you well however again you're not going to talk about the damage in terms of striker drone and assault turret but still a nice different way to go now another option with this build is to switch the decoy and you could have my awesome pulse bomb use the remote pulse and this is what it does It goes boom for another 1.75 million. That's what we're talking about. We have a remote pulse that offers, that, again, that pulse and also offers an exploded boom, which is amazing. So that is a pulse bomb every 10 seconds with infinite ammo. There you go, all day long. It's a nice way to go. But I'm using this, again, with the assault turret, i.e. not the assault turret, the boom turret, artillery turret, and that's where this really shines. And that's why I like this build, because it offers, guys, so much utility, so much versatility also. You can also, guys, switch out the decoy or the pulse for something like, we'll just say, the Hive. Hive Restorer, Hive Stinger. You have the Hive Re Revive, and you have the Booster. You have so many options how to roll with this. You can roll with this way, and let's just pop this. So you're going to have the initial explosive boom. And then you're going to have the damage from the Stinger Hive. I like this. Again, another good option how to roll with this build, which is Ace. That's a lot of damage you're going to output right there. Now, guys, you've se you've pretty much seen how it works and how you can change your skills about with this. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to use these skills. But let's take a look at the build. Now, with the build, guys, yeah, you know it's Demolitionist, of course. So the skills you've seen me demonstrate with the Silt... Sorry... The assault turret you can use with this. You can use this. I'm using the artillery turret. You can use the sniper turret if you wanted to. If you're going to go with technician. If you're going to go with survivalist. You have so many different options how to roll with this. It doesn't have to be this way. But this way works for me. Now with the hive stinger. Again I've been using the seeker explosive for that double boom. When it drops that's a lot of damage. 1.75 million. And then guys the boom from that is way over 5 million. That's how good this is. It's cracking. So guys. Let's take a look at the gear. Firstly, it's Empress International, guys. You know how it works by now. Get this on for the extra bit of damage. Free piece all the way home, guys. So skill health, skill damage, and skill efficiency. And that skill efficiency will translate and transfer into your status effects, your skill repair, your skill haste, skill damage, and so on. So get this free piece on. With this, I've opted for a little bit of a different change. So skill damage... Armor regen and a skill haste 11.9% mod. You could go for skill haste to get these booms back quicker, but I do like the survivability option from armor regen. I think that works a little bit stronger in all my opinion. Now, the second piece of Empress is the knee pads. And the knee pads, you can see, skill damage and hazard protection. Ideally, I could switch out the hazard protection for armor regen. However, beggars can't be choosers, but this is a very, very strong, viable piece. Then we have the gloves, guys. Very simply, skill damage and armor regen. Perfect again. This is what I want. Each piece, I'm in a good place. And you can see, free piece Empress, guys. Max damage. is Good damage. Get it on. Now look at the holster. We know what the holster is. It's the waveform holster. We know by now it's not the Dodge Shitty Gunslinger's holster or the Imperial Dynasty holster. It is waveform. You need this. You get a lot of damage, guys. You really do. So make sure you have this attached. If you don't have this holster, that's because you're working for the seasons. That's fine. It's not a problem. You do have various different options you can use. However, nothing to really go on as much damage as this. Skill damage and skill haste. I have rolled. You won't believe this, guys. I counted eight times. I have re-rolled this. This is the best one I have. And again, I, I'm not going to gripe or groan about 0.4% skill damage or 0.3% skill haste. I couldn't give two rats about that, really, so I'm happy with this. Generate a stack of 3% skill damage on one of your skills every second, capping at 10 stacks. After 10 seconds at the cap, stacks transfer to your other skill. The process then repeats ad infinitum. Brilliant. Because you just it's it's a, an excellent exotic piece. Get it on. Now, let's take a look at the backpack first. The backpack is my uh, Charlotte Industries Corporation. Guys, you have to have one piece. You have to, non-negotiable because of that 15% explosive damage, which will heighten the damage from your chest piece talent. So make sure, guys, when you've got your deployable skill skills on you, using one piece, channel light, more damage, makes perfect sense. With this guy, skill damage, skill haste, and a 12% skill haste mod, which is beautiful. 
And with this tech support, skill kills increase total skill damage by 10, oh, sorry, 25% for 20 seconds. Brilliant. The perfect tech support is 27 seconds. However, it is repair skills and I don't want that on the build. So this is perfect for me. Again, it's not perfectly rolled skill haste, but it's pretty good and I'm happy with this. And then the chest piece, we know what this is. This is Wyvernware. Guys, again, 10% skill damage. It'd be idiotic not to have that 10% skill damage. Make sure you have one piece Wyvern on your build. And then we've got skill damage. We have skill haste and another skill haste mod. Again, I'd like a bit more skill haste, missing a percent. But again, percent is nothing on this build, so don't worry. The talent is explosive delivery. Whenever you throw a skill, 1.5 seconds after landing, it creates an explosion damaging enemies within 5 meters. So that 5 meter radius, they're getting a big bad boom. Damage scales with skill tier dealing 25 to 100% damage of a concussion grenade once per skill. Guys, yeah, once per skill. So with a pulse, for example, you drop your pulse, that's, that's it. You're going to get that 5 meter radius, you're going to get that nice damage 1.75 million. And you can do that every 10 seconds if you wanted to. That's fine, you can do that. And again, with the decoy, it's every 13 seconds. Again, that's pretty cool. With this, I've gone for some damage dealing skills because they're damage dealing skills and they're going to really push out as much content quicker. So that's the way I prefer to go. But again, this is such an overlooked talent. And guys, if you're not using this, test it. You'll enjoy it. You'll come back and say, woo, it is a great talent to use on your builds. I'm going to use this from more often from now on because it's a, just a great, great, absolute, fantastic chess piece talent. Now, guys, weapons, capacitor. Guys, you can't look past this, can you? So, with this, assault rifle damage, damage to armor, and health damage. Capacitance. Shooting enemies build stacks to a cap of 40. Each stack grants 1.5% skill damage. After 5 seconds, stacks decay 1 per second. So for each skill tier gain, 7.5% weapon damage. Brilliant. We know this by now. This is around about 45% extra weapon damage. Awesome. And then the skill damage, I'm getting an extra 60% which is an immense figure, and it is awesome. Guys, you just can't look past this on your build. Rooty tooty with this, guys. You need to really aim and shoot. And if you're doing that, you're going to gain the stacks, which means you're going to gain the extra damage. Yeah, it's a no-brainer. Cap capacitor is amazing, and it, for me, best in slot for a skill build. Crit chance rounds, crit damage, and weapon handling. We know this by now. These are fixed exotic attachments. Secondary, again, it could be anything you want. I mean, I just use the capacitor, but with this, it's the harmony, it's my secondary, because of perfectly in sync, very simple. Again, because of the extra skill damage and weapon damage, that will be doubled to 40%, so that's quite cool. And then we have the, the attachments, crit chance, rounds, critical chance, and crit damage. We know by now, guys, if you watch my content, is that this is just for show. I I'm a primary weapon man only. I, I stick to that because that's when I'm going to output my most effectiveness on most of my builds. So capacitor first. If I run out of ammo, whatever, use the harmony. And again, this is for choice. So this is rarely, rarely used. So don't worry too much about it. It is there for show. Guys, let's take a look at the skills. Again, Hive was just, again, a demonstration. I've been using this, which is the awesome of awesomeness explosive seeker mine and 5.165904 damage which is bad a big fat boom lovely just what i want on any build and we have the radius is 5.2 meters so we've got the initial explosive delivery blast and then we have yep which is going to create a 1.75 million damage per npc if there's two or three npcs there that's potential over four and a half five million damage extra and then we have the boom which will be from the seeker Brilliant, you can see why now this is a really nice way to roll. And then you have PvP damage 929. Again, I'm not going to use this in PvP, so it is what it is. And the bleed damage is 18261, a bleed duration 7.7. .7. There's hardly any status effects on the build, so that can be heightened if you invest in status effects rather than armor regen or hazard protection. Mods, guys, you can see these two got three near beautiful mods you can see these lovely attachments damage five percent damage five percent and seven point four percent health beautiful like that now my primary skill again this is interchangeable i'm using the artillery turret at three seven seven nine million damage um again we've got that 10 ammo the cooldown is 10 seconds uh, bleed duration is 7.7 .7 seconds um it's nice that radius 6.8 meters 
And then you can see skill tier 6. There's the 10% damage mod on there. The extra mortar ammo and skill hay. So god sausage roll all the way through on this particular artillery turret. That's skills guys. Let's take a look at the stats. Again, as always, any skill build, don't worry so much about the crit chance, crit damage, headshot damage, armor damage. It's irrelevant. It really is on the most part because you're not going to gain that much more from it. So don't worry about that. Seriously, don't. What you need to focus on is your skill haste, your skill damage, status effects. They're the areas, they're the attributes you really need to, again, man manage to make sure they're, again, as high as possible to get the most out of your build, if that's what you're looking to do. So with this, guys, again, you see assault rifle damage 30%. Um, you see some LNG damage, 10% all weapons damage. That's fine, that's okay. Um, tech support, explosive delivery are the talents of choice. Um, I have just under 10k armor regen. That's every second I'm going to get that nice little tick of 10k. It's not perfect. You could get a little bit more on there. That's fine. But again, this works sweetly for me. And then with the skill haste of a perfection of 99.7%. I'm, again, really happy where that, where that's at. It's a nice place to be. And again, I don't want to over-invest into or over-index in skill haste. I'm kind of happy where this setup is going. Guys, I am super duper happy with this. But with this build, guys, it's fun absolute fun if we just again just put this bad boy here not there pick him up pick him up get in the cover there you go right we'll put him here we'll just get rid of this guy first right okay and then we'll just pick him up and then what we'll do we'll just stack the class a bit and then let's just drop the seeker mine and watch this it's just beautiful see there six nine one two million awesome you see why this is such a wonderful build to use. You see some nice, nice damage on there, guys. Beautiful damage. Here we go. Eight and a half million damage, Seeker Mine, beautiful. I like that. That's the potential of this build. It is a fantastic setup. It is so much fun. When you want to put builds together and you look at fun, this is fun, wrapped up, open up at Christmas, you can see, you will be like opening a PS5 and go, this is amazing. It's such a fun build to use in any content, guys. It really is. But guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, thumbs doodle, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.